Good morning, students. Welcome to my class. Today, we are going to review a new topic. But at the beginning, we are going to remember the topic of the last class. The last class, we review reported speech. Do you remember? Okay, we review in order to practice. But, can you tell me when do you use reported speech? That's right. We are going to use reported speech in order to say, in order to tell someone what another person says. Recuerde que utilizábamos el reported speech para decir lo, a alguien lo que otra persona dijo o dice. ¿Ok? And can you tell me an example of that? Ok, for example, my friend says that she likes to watch cartoons. I am reporting what my friend says. Yo les estoy diciendo a ustedes lo que mi amiga dijo. Ok? As I said before, today we are going to review a grammar point referred to must. And mustn't. That is the topic, okay? And what is the objective for today? That's right. To explain the use of must and mustn't through an explanation. Okay, so today we are going to review that. Do you know when do you use must or mustn't? Do you know the structure of that? That's right. As that is a new topic, we are going to review that in order to understand better. Okay? So, please, students, pay attention. Okay? We are going to start with the use of must. Okay? So, I am going to read. Must is most commonly used to express certainty. It can also be used to express necessity or a strong recommendation. Okay? It means that we are going to use must in order to show an obligation or a strong recommendation. Okay? Here we have an example. This must be the right answer. You must study hard. Okay, we are going to use must in order to express an affirmative sentence, okay? You must study hard. Tú debes estudiar tú, okay? Uh, that is more or less the meaning in Spanish. But remember, you are going to use must in order to express an obligation. You must study, okay? We are going to review must not. Yeah, must not is the negative form of must. Okay? And that is the contraction, mustn't. Can be used to prohibit actions. Okay? It means that we are going to use mustn't in order to prohibit something. Okay? Remember, must in order to express an obligation. Para expresar una obligación, mustn't in order to express, to prohibit any action, ¿ok? And mustn't vamos a utilizar para prohibir cualquier acción, ¿ok? For example, you mustn't kick the ball when you play basketball, ¿ok? I am referring to a prohibition, ¿ok? I am prohibiting this action, ¿ok? You mustn't kick the ball. Tú no debes patear la pelota. ¿Ok? That is more or less. I am going to show you the prohibition of something. ¿Ok? Remember, we can use must or mustn't in order to, in order to give rules. ¿Ok? For example, rules in your house. You must clean your room. 
Okay, there is an obligation. And uh, prohibit action. For example, you mustn't fight with your brother. Maybe, okay? I am giving, um, an, uh, I am, I am using must in order to make obligation, in order to express obligation, and mustn't in order to spread a prohibition, okay? We are going to see some examples, okay? So pay attention. He must do his homework. Okay, pay attention in that part. Okay, pay attention to the structure. Tell me, what is the structure that this sentence uses? Okay. That is correct, okay? I am using the subject must do, that is the verb in the base form, his homework. That is a complement, okay? So, in order to use must or mustn't, I am going to use at the beginning the subject. Remember, you can use as a subject you, I, he, she, it, we, they, okay? Or maybe we can use names, okay? For example, in this case, he must do his homework. Or for example, Andres must do his homework, okay? That is the same. I have to use a subject. Then I am going to use must, okay? That is according to the sentence. We can use must or mustn't. De acuerdo a mi oración, voy a utilizar must. Positivo, mustn't, negativo. And the verb in the base form, okay? He must do his homework. Okay, we are going to see another examples in order to understand better, okay? So pay attention. She must wear a helmet. What is the meaning of helmet? Okay? That thing is a helmet, okay? The police says, she must wear a helmet, okay? That is an obligation in this case, okay? And that is the same structure, the subject, must, the verb in the base form, and the complement, okay? In this case, he mustn't sleep in class, okay? That is the same. In this case, I am using the negative form of must because that is a prohibition, okay? He mustn't sleep in class, okay? So the teacher says, he mustn't sleep in class, okay? You cannot do that. You mustn't sleep in class, okay? Pay attention here. That is the police, okay? The police. You must stop here, okay? Because of the traffic light, okay? You must stop here. You mustn't cross the street now. Okay? You mustn't. Tú no debes, tú no puedes cross the street, cruzar la calle now because of the traffic light, okay? Pay attention. He mustn't kick the ball. Okay? That is the same. Uh, he is a basketball soccer player, so he mustn't kick the ball, okay? That is the rule of the basketball, okay? You must touch the ball with your hands, okay? In football, you have to, you must touch the ball with your feet, okay? But you mustn't touch the ball with your hands. You mustn't, no. Okay, we are going to do um, some exercise in order to understand better, okay? That is called driving test, okay? We are going to use must or mustn't, okay? According to the sentence. Remember, we are going to use must in order to express an obligation or a strong recommendation. And we are going to use mustn't in order to prohibit something, okay? Pay attention here. 
There is a car, okay? And here we have some signs, okay? So pay attention. You turn right. We have to use must or mustn't, but you have to pay attention in the image, okay? For example, in that image that is a prohibition, so you mustn't turn right, okay? You turn left, okay? Pay attention here. You can do that, okay? So there is an obligation, a strong recommendation. So you must turn left. That is the same. Pay attention here. That is the left, okay? But you cannot do that. So I am going to use mustn't. In order to express a prohibition, you mustn't turn left. Here you have a sign of a stop, okay? In this case, you have to do it, okay? So I am going to use must. You must stop here, okay? That is your obligation. And pay attention, that is a prohibition, okay? So we are going to use must that's right you mustn't park here okay and pay attention here pay attention in that part okay so you correct you must turn right that is a pro a prohibition okay so you mustn't enter okay so that is the same remember we are going to use after that the verb in the base form you correct must go ahead pay attention here tell me what is the correct answer that's right you mustn't stop here. And thank you students, that is all for today. I hope that you have enjoyed the class. Uh, I am going to send you a homework on the platform. So thank you students, have a nice day, goodbye.